Yo, Cubic here. Guess what? Vital finally has skins available. You have both the ability to create your own skins as well as load skins from other people who made their own skins, such as I have, which in this video, you will be receiving a free skin if you'd like to use it, as well as I will be teaching you how to create your own skins and even how to access the skins in the first place in Vital. So stay tuned after the intro and uh, you will get all that information. Let's go. Hello. All right, so we are here in Vital. As you can see, it's got this blinding light skin, which I happen to enjoy. This is a little bit of a controversial skin because it is a light skin and you know, people aren't the biggest fans of light skins, depending on who you are. But I worked extremely hard on this skin. It honestly took way longer than I expected it to take. Everything is skinned out and made for your, for your, I guess, looking pleasure. But yeah, it took a lot of work. I'll be explaining how to download this skin for free in a few minutes. First, I'm gonna go through the new features. So there's two ways to access skins. The easiest way is if you go to the advanced tab down here, there is an option to select different skins available in the skin pack. which Matt Title just put out for, I believe, subscribers. And there's a few different types of skins available in that. And that's, again, if you are a subscriber, I believe, is how you access that. And then you also have the ability to load a custom skin, which a prompt just popped up for me to select a skin, and I just selected mine, obviously. But you have the option to select any custom skins you've acquired on the internet. Now, the other way to access skins is to hold down your Alt key, click this little hamburger icon up here, and you can load skin, load default skin, which is the original vital skin in case you fucked up and you, and you need an undo and you need to just go back to the regular skin. Also, this is how you access the skin designer by clicking open skin designer. All right, so got a different window up. We got my audacity in the background, but it's all right. Basically, this is what will pop up when you want to design your own skin. Now, luckily you can design your own skin based off of other skins. So like for instance, what I did with this custom cubic skin is I used the light skin that Matt Title created in the Vital Skin Pack 1 so that I had kind of a foundation to work on. Now granted, I've changed quite a bit since then, but it really helped me just have a nice start because there is a lot of settings in this and you can really get overwhelmed and kind of lost. So th this is the one thing about the skin designer is it's kind of a little bit of a commitment if you want to create your own skin. There is an amazing amount of options, which is great for customizability, but yeah, you can definitely get lost and confused and it's kind of a lot to keep up with. A lot of how I learned to edit the skin and what all of these different options go to was just trial and error and just correlating different colors. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the fundamentals you need to understand, and then I'm gonna kind of leave it to you guys to experiment on your own. So first off, you'll see all these number things here. These are basically ways that you can change like different widths and height and thickness of certain lines and you can kind of change the look of like knobs and titles and like font sizes and stuff like that if you want to go super in depth but that's really messing with the ui design and i just thought like i don't need to do that i like how vital looks if you want to get insanely customizable with that go ahead but it's definitely a little bit more of an undertaking a little sketchier basically on the left here you have all these options which basically when you click all these are the the colors and the settings up here that apply just overall to the entire synth. Like these are like the default colors that just apply to like, for instance, rotary arc. Rotary arc is basically the color of like when you change the level or when, when you like the depth right here, you see how there's this line of purple. This is basically saying that if you set this to green um, or whatever color you want, every rotary arc by default in every section is going to be that color green now as you can see here that's not the case 
because what I did, for instance, with chorus is I went down to the chorus and I changed the rotary arc to pink. And then once you select a color, it gives you a check mark here. And that check mark is basically saying use this setting instead of the all setting. So what I would do if I were you and you were trying to make your own skin is start off going in the all section, just kind of changing all the colors up to try to figure out like what some of these settings apply to like modulation meter, like linear slider, that will help you understand some of the terminology used and applied to all the individual sections. And then just start setting your main colors here. And then you kind of just go through all these sections and you can customize them how you want. So you can customize like the logo, you can customize overlays, the oscillator, the sample, here's all the effects. There's even an all effects section where you can have general default sections for all the effects. And then you can always just uncheck stuff if you decide, oh, I wanna use the main version of it. So like I said, a lot of it's trial and error. I'm not gonna go through and break down what everything means, but hopefully this gives you a good starting point for how to create your own skin. Now getting to how to download this skin that I've created, the download link is in the description, it goes to sonicweaponry.com, which I will be putting out all sorts of cool products Products in the future, including a really sick skin pack that will include a dark version of this free light version skin, as well as a bunch of cool themed skins, like for instance, a Nintendo 64 skin, a Serum skin, a Cyberpunk 2077 skin. And if you have any skin suggestions, because this pack's going to be for you guys, so I want to include some stuff you guys would really want, definitely comment down below. Like, do you want like a retro skin? Do you want like a Xbox 360 skin? Or like whatever themes you might want, please comment down below just give me some fun ideas that i can design some more skins to but again thank you all for watching definitely leave a like on this video if you enjoy this content and you want more subscribe i will be putting all sorts of music reviews and production tutorials out in the future and send this to your friends let them know that there's a really cool free skin available if they fuck with light mode i put a lot of work into this and so i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah have fun making skins my name's Cubic, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.